do you think of some of the contestants shading each other on social media? I've tried to keep out of this as much as possible. Yeah, I'm not going to be throwing shade on anyone and I hope no one has anything bad to say about me too. Have you had any surprising people in your DMs? Just a few sort of celebrities and yeah, I'm not going to name any names though. <laughs> Are you planning to move in with Luca anytime soon? I mean, we're pretty much moved in with each other. We're, wherever we go, we're, we're following each other. Hi, I'm Gemma Owen and I'm playing Text on the Beach with Cosmo. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see more. I've got a text. What was the best and the worst thing about being on Love Island? The best thing about being on Love Island is meeting a load of new people, building amazing friendships that I think are gonna last for forever. And the worst was probably missing home, missing family. I didn't really have in my head, you know, when I, where I was gonna get to, I sort of just went with the experience. I've never been away from home for more than like a weekend before, so being away for like eight weeks was a lot. I think that's definitely what I found most challenging. How has life been since leaving the villa? Life since leaving the villa has been hectic. So many like new opportunities, been super busy. I think I've literally been home a day. Um, but yeah, no, I would change a thing. With Luca as well, I think the relationship has got a lot better since leaving. I think in the villa, I've said a few times, you know, you're in such a, a bubble there and there's only a certain amount of feelings that you can get for someone. And towards like the last two weeks, we were both just like, we need to go out, experience new things and just see what it's going to be like, you know, in the, in the real world. So I think definitely now we've had that chance, just doing more, more normal things, meeting each other's family, just day-to-day -day life. It's definitely progressed the relationship. What might people be surprised to know about your relationship with Luca. I mean, we're actually still not boyfriend and girlfriend yet, which is quite surprising, but I think everyone knows that because it's like in my comments, when are you and Luca gonna be official? Um, but you yeah, know, apart from that, I think we're, we're pretty open with everything. Do you feel like you were fairly represented on the show? I've not watched all the episodes back, so from the small clips I've seen, you know, I think so. Watching myself back at the start, I mean, it was a little bit cringy, I'm not gonna lie, hearing your voice on screen. So yeah, there were some moments I'm like, oh God, but overall, you know, it has been funny to watch and relive some of the moments that we did in there. What do you think of some of the contestants shading each other on social media? I've tried to keep out of this as much as possible. Yeah, I'm not gonna be throwing shade on anyone and I hope no one has anything bad to say about me too. I'm keeping out of all the drama, I just want a nice life. <laughs> Have you seen any rumors about yourself that you want to set straight? I think there was a rumor about me and like Billy knowing each other before the show or there was something more on the show that people didn't get to see or something like that which I'd like to set straight that that is not true. <laughs> I made it very clear to Billy that it was just a friendship thing and my eyes were you know only for Luca. Have you had any strange fan interactions so far? Not really. Everyone that I've sort of met has just been really lovely, really supportive, just asked for pictures, asking about how you know the experience was so I've not had any funny stories. People recognising you in public is does definitely take a while to get used to. If people come up and ask for pictures, then that's absolutely fine and I'd always be happy to take pictures. It's the sly pictures <laughs> that are not the one. Who are you most likely to stay in touch with from the show? There was a really good group of girls in there. I think the final girls got on really well with Danica, Antigone and Amber from earlier on. They were all lovely. Um, and some of the boys as well, I kinda, I got on really well with him on the show. So I think everyone, double dates, I'd love to go on a double date with Tasha and Andrew, uh, maybe Ekin and Davide as well, but Tasha and Andrew we did speak about a lot in the villa and we've got quite a lot of ideas, so I'd love to do them. Have you had any surprising people in your DMs? Just a few sort of celebrities and yeah. I'm not gonna name any names though. <laughs> Had a few like old islanders showing support, which is really nice. Are you planning to move in with Luca anytime soon? We'll have to see. I'm based quite a bit down in London with work and stuff like that, so I'm staying at his quite a bit. I mean, we're pretty much moved in with each other. We're, wherever we go, we're, we're following each other. So yeah, I think he's keen to maybe look in a you know apartment or something up north so he can sort of have a base. Um, so yeah, in the near future definitely. Are there any couples from Love Island 2022 you think won't last? It's still so early days. 
everyone in the villa seemed compatible and all the finalists especially you know everyone got on really well I could see all of their relationships working I think this year everyone was like pretty genuine and in a good solid couple so yeah no one stands out did you feel any pressure around body image while you were in the villa no I think I'm sort of quite a confident person myself and I think you know all the other girls were too all the girls in there and the guys were you know different no one was the same everyone sort of respected and appreciated each other everyone sort of was you know positive around each other there was no like nastiness and negativity everyone was just building each other up and making each other feel like great about themselves so yeah I think it was definitely a really good group of people and I didn't feel any pressure personally. What are you most looking forward to right now? I'm most looking forward to just getting back into a normal routine, um, spending a bit more time with family and yeah just living life, taking all the opportunities that come, having a good time. Thanks for watching!